Hello everyone, XQ Crafting here. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I made this acrylic paint in storage and it goes inside my um, little cubby that I have on my craft room. So I used foam board from Dollar Tree, which is cheap, but keep in mind that it's very fragile. If you have any other kind of foam board that you wanna use, uh, it's really up to you. So my cubby is a little bit weird how it's measured. It's 13 and one quarter horizontally and just 13 inches vertically. And since the paintings are a little bit over three and a half inches, I made my little storage uh, three and a half inches deep. And it's a little bit thinner than one and a half inches. So I made the blocks where the, the paint will go in um, one and a half inches. So that way it fits loose. But if you want a little bit more snuggled, you can obviously do whatever measurements you want. I would like to mention this is the measurements for my cubby. Obviously, if you have a different dimensions on your cubby or you want to make the storage differently, you're going to have to measure to fit your needs. But this is what worked out for me because of the size of the cubby I have. And the gaps there is just the thickness of the foam board and it goes just halfway through and I made seven of those panels horizontally and seven vertically and then I use my um, craft knife to cut the the gaps that I will need to put them together the only time I will use hot glue is just to put the back the cubby I have is 16 inches deep but obviously I don't need to be that deep because it's for just acrylic paint so that's why I made the cubby just three and a half inches deep and I will cover the back with foam board the other thing I would like for you to keep in mind and this is just my experience with my own cubby um, because of that 13 and one quarter inches, it will be kind of tricky. So for me, I marked where I started the measurement. So each of the, of the uh, panels, the very beginning will always have one and a half inches. The little blocks will always have one and a half inches. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you end the the little panel and the the end is also not one and a half inch uh, correctly or whatever measurements you have whatever measure you, you start with your storage will be crooked so you have to make sure all the edges are the same height because if you don't do that it will be crooked and just keep that in mind and ask me how I know that the first one I did when I, my organization in my craft room, it was crooked. You make sure that when you start the first, the, the edges of one and a half inch or two inches, whatever you start with is always the same. At this point, I would suggest to fit the, just the outside first, just to make sure everything fits in the cubby and you be, won't be able to see it but all the edges on the top are one and a half inches all the edges on the left are one and a half inches but the one on the right are less than one and a half inches if i haven't marked where everything started like where every one and a half inches started i would not know that and when i put every piece together those one and a half inches and one that is a little bit less than that would not match when you're trying to insert in the cubby then i use a piece of foam board just to cover the back so the paint doesn't fall and that's it i hope you like it it's not a difficult project it's just time consuming but it's very easy and in the end everything looks nice and organized well i hope you liked it everyone take care bye Thank you.